Welcome back to the garage. It's getting warm because it's spring, so we need to work on ventilation for one thing and cooling system for another. This radiator comes out very simply. It's held in by this. We get off this bottom hose, and then we get off this top hose. I'm just gonna yank it out, don't worry about that. Uh, but we wanna clean up this place where it was, get some of this rust off and uh, filth. Uh, just makes it easier when it goes back in. That looks nicer already, but I'm gonna hit it with some Plasti Dip which is, uh, you know, just a nice way to tidy up. Yeah, there, right there. Don't worry, I'm not breathing this in too much. Looks pretty nice. So, we get that out of the way. Let's go over to the old radiator. Um, we gotta take this shroud off to put onto the new radiator. And it's held on by just some bolts here and there. Uh, don't know why I didn't take that hose off. But, uh, we're also going to have to swap over this switch. It wasn't plugged in, but it looks pretty new, and I think it should be on the new radiator. So, obviously, hit this here. I should have used a shorter ratchet. I think I have one, but why did I use that long one? Okay, so pull this off. It's kind of messy, too, so probably clean that up. I'm not going to put that in the video. It's tedious, but I'll clean that up a bit, too. Uh, so, now we got to take off this. Uh, oh, this. Oh, that doesn't fit. What can we do? I know what we can do. It's the cousin of the dead blow hammer, the pipe wrench. Stilson wrench, got a lot of names for these. So anyway, just yank it on there. It'll pop off this little sensor, switch, whatever you want to call it, because it's got to go on the new radio. So there's not the spot in the same place where it was, but if you flip it around like this, there's a spot for it in a different place. It's just uh, ba bam right there. <laughs> so, uh, just uh, put this in the place where it was. I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, tape on. Um, that's to keep it from leaking. And just put it in place and try not to get too much inside of there. Be careful. And uh, then, of course, we'll tighten it on with the Stilson wrench. Why did I make that noise? I'm sorry. So, we've got this kind of straightened up. Let's go ahead and put this on. I sprayed it just a little bit. I didn't want to make it look like I was going too crazy with it. And it attaches pretty much the same with the hardware that came off. Looks pretty nice, but it's very silver. And this is the side that shows on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some regular flat black paint so that it uh, keeps with our look that we improved earlier, not just a bunch of radiator staring at us. The old radiator was also dark colored. So we're just gonna hit it with the paint. And don't worry, I'm not breathing in all these fumes. Got a mask on. Be careful when you're doing stuff like this. Gonna shake up this paint. And we're just gonna lightly coat the... I mean, that's sped up pretty much. I don't wanna ASMR you to death. Here's our finished product. It's a nice piece. So before we put this in place, we're gonna address the thermostat. And just like with anything, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up the area where the thermostat was first. You can see it down at the bottom. Let's go from underneath and check stuff out. Now I'm gonna put on these white pair of gloves. Normally I wear black. I'm just gonna inspect this area. Well, that's, that's oil. That's not a lot of oil. Well, let's check it. Oh no, that's a lot of oil. If you've got oil in your coolant system, that means the head gasket is blown. And that basically means the engine is ruined. Well, I guess that's the end. I didn't really even get to put a lot of work into this car, but now there's no point in going any further. Without an engine, what's the point? I might as well stop doing these videos. Psych! All the time I spend on the internet is finally paying off because I stumbled upon this almost a week ago. It's different than my original plans, but I guess this is what's going down. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on the diesel to gas motor swap. Thanks for supporting my Patreon and don't forget my catchphrase.